I just got back from the gym. It was really nice. I'm taking it slow, but it just feels good to do something because it's so hot outside that I can't do my usual walks outside, which is what I prefer. Anyways, I have a call in five minutes with a photographer in San Diego. I am flying out to San Diego in about two weeks. Today's September 1st and I'm flying out on the 14th. So yeah, two weeks and I have a lot going on. So I'm meeting with a new client that I'm working with and we have a lot to discuss. And then I also wanted to try to shoot a project that we wrapped up a couple months ago. So I'm talking to a couple different photographers. I haven't found one yet in my career that I'm like 100% attached to. So I'm still kind of like trying out different photographers. And you might be wondering like why I don't just shoot these projects myself. And the reason is, and I've tried, that's why like my portfolio is not that great. My website, my Instagram, because I don't normally do this, but I'm trying to be better about it because it really showcases your work. And when you try to take photos on your phone or just on your own camera, a lot of times you don't have the skills or in my case, the technology that the professionals have. So when you do a professional interior shoot, they have a very wide angle lens so they can get the entire room. They have a really good flash. They also have these huge lights that every time they click the shutter button on the camera, it lights up the adjacent walls um, in order to put the correct lighting on the space that they're shooting. So it's a whole thing. You know, I'm just gonna leave it to the professionals and while they are shooting, then I can be styling and I don't have to worry about, you know, getting the right lighting and the right photos and everything because that's their job. So I'm trying to find the perfect one for this shoot. I do realize that it is very last minute. I'm trying to book two weeks in advance <laughs> and that's just the result of me living by coastal and I couldn't book my flight out for the other project until we got a start date on the demo. So I just got that a couple days ago. I booked my flight immediately once I got that. And so now I'm trying to set this up because if I can do both while I'm out there, I'm only there for a week, but if I can get both of these things done, I would feel very accomplished. <laughs> That's the goal. She should be calling in about two minutes. So it's just gonna be a matter of who has the best prices and what vibe I wanna go for in the space. Also, I'm really sorry about my <laughs> appearance right now. I didn't leave myself much time. I literally just got back from the gym like a minute ago. So I'm in a shower and you know, once this phone calls over, but right now, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. So I'm gonna go shower. I really, really, really wanna shower. And then I'm gonna get to work and I'll kind of just take you guys through my day. It'll just be, you know, a normal vlog, but I do have a lot of work to do today. The cats love to look out this window, but the chair is not high enough. So I almost created like a little booster seat for them and they love it. He climbed a tree and Shelly had to climb the tree and get him down. And then another time he climbed, you guys can see our neighbor's fence right here. He climbed the fence and they have like a really big scary dog over there. And Shelly had to climb the fence to get him. And luckily there was like a fence on the other side of this fence. Like they have a chain link and then we have the wooden fence. So he was kind of just in between, but he's just so naughty. Like he doesn't even know what he's doing. He's just so curious, uh, but we're a little scared to let him go out. So now when we let Gucci out, I put Levi on the leash. Before I hop in the shower, I wanted just to show you guys some new products that I am using at the moment. So the first thing is skincare and my skin has been so sensitive and dry lately. I've tried like four or five different moisturizers and just nothing is really working for me. Same with cleansers, like all the cleansers that I have uh, that I've had before pregnancy are just way too strong. Like my skin just can't handle it right now. So my mother-in-law recommended this balm which is for when your skin's like really really dry and like the barriers almost um a little irritated so this is just like a good maybe once a week or just when you need it kind of moisturizer so i really like this they use it a lot on eczema they even use it on babies like all of this is really really sensitive and just like really clean ingredients and the cleanser that I got, I wanted to try was this one and I really liked how big it was, but it's just very, very gentle. Like the fact that you can use it on your body and your face and it's formulated for dry skin because that's what I have right now. I just really liked it and it's safe for babies and children, fragrance free. It just seemed like a really good 
option for this time in my life. And I also got this huge moisturizer and it's from the same line. I just really liked the versatility. I just started using these like two days ago, so I can't really give you a review, but so far I really like them and my skin seems to be um, just going back to normal. It was just really irritated. So I had that. And then when I was at Sephora, I grabbed this foundation and I've seen a lot of influencers and YouTubers and stuff use this and their skin looks unbelievably beautiful. So I was like, you know what, let's have a go. I'm really liking the glowy look lately. I really don't like matte. I don't even really powder my skin that much. So I thought this would be a good one to try. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. And of course I am number one. So I normally use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, which I absolutely love. That's what we used on my wedding day but the color of that foundation that I have is like my wedding color. So I had to get something light. I literally didn't have a foundation that I could use. So I'm gonna try to use this just kind of like, like a tinted moisturizer. And I haven't tried it yet because I just got it. So after I shower, I'll try that with you guys on camera because I am not feeling very glamorous. And then we will get on with the rest of the day. So I put the foundation on and I'm kind of under like a really yellow light right now. But first impressions, I think it's definitely buildable because I had to put on like two layers, but I was using a beauty blender. I don't think that's like the best way to do it because it kind of thins it out too much and I you probably waste a lot of product. So I wish I had like a good buffing brush to use. But I mean, I think it looks really natural and really pretty. Um, I ran out of mascara, so we're not putting that on. But this is the reality of pregnancy. I was putting my makeup on and I got so hungry and like I call it low like when I just like my blood sugar just drops I don't have time to put clothes on or do my hair you can probably tell I feel like really like low right now so I'm gonna make my lunch and then we can like finish getting ready after but that's just how it is like when you have to eat you literally have to just drop what you're doing and eat that second so ignore the robe for the time being um we're gonna have some leftover tacos. I have my toppings here. We have guac, this is a vegan sour cream, and then cotija, which is the really good Mexican cheese you just sprinkle on top. And my, no, you can't have it. My secret ingredient is putting a little bit of refried beans in the taco. I switched up this time and I'm using black refried, refried beans. I normally just use normal. So it's really tasty. I just put that on the tortilla straight and then I put the meat on top and it's really good. Oh my God, this cat is gonna knock my camera over. Levi, can you just go somewhere else? Get down, get, get down. Levi. Hey. Can you just, oh my Lord, I just caught you. You almost just died. And I had half of this this morning, but I'm just gonna just down a little bit. I hate getting to this point, but it's kind of hard to predict sometimes. Like I just get so caught up and I just forget to eat as frequently as I should. Just gonna heat my meat up in a little bowl. Look at him, he's so naughty. Oh my God. Look at this cat. He's such a troublemaker. Why are you such a troublemaker? Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Those paws. Biggest paws I've ever seen. That'll work. Now that I've had some sustenance, I feel like I can actually function. But a lot just happened in the last two minutes while I was eating that taco. My birthday present has arrived and it has. I just went and grabbed it outside. Um, I don't know how much to show in this video because my birthday is next week. I think it's on like Wednesday or Tuesday. It's kind of weird. So Shelly's family does birthdays a lot different than mine. And I want to know if you guys do it like this or if this is just a weird Sheldon thing. But they literally tell each other what they want for their birthday. And obviously like you can still get surprises and stuff. But their reasoning is get you a present. It should be something that you really want and that you really need. So they literally like tell each other like, this is what I want. If you want to get it, you know, you don't have to, but if you're going to get something, then here it is. Um, in my family, it's all just kind of a surprise. And I like both. I honestly really like both ways of doing birthdays and also Christmas. 
uh, because my way that my family does, like you're, you're always surprised. And so when you're opening a present, like it's literally just like this moment of excitement. And when you do it the Sheldon way, it's not surprising. So you know what you're getting, but you are getting something you really want. So there's like pros and cons. I wish there was a way to like combine the two. But anyways, we kind of do it the Sheldon way. So he asked me what I wanted and I told him and I picked it out and it's here, but like it's hard because like I want to open it. I think I will, but I don't think I'll show it on video. Like I think I'll make a birthday video and show it in there, but we got it on eBay. So we want to make sure, you know, he wants me to open it and he wants me to make sure it's like in good condition and it's not broken and all that stuff. So I might do that right now, but I still have another taco to eat. So I got to do that, but there's so many things going on. So exciting and I can't believe my birthday is so soon. I always like get so excited for Shelly's that I kind of forget that mine is like around the corner, but you can kind of see his like happy birthday balloons are deflating and falling down. But I uh, ordered like a little bunting that says happy birthday for my birthday. So I'll put that up in a couple days when it comes. I just sat down and filmed an unboxing of my birthday presents and wow, I just, I can't even explain how excited I am. So you guys will have to just wait for the birthday vlog, which will come out soon. My birthday's only in like five days. So you'll see that, but I'm gonna put my unboxing in that video. Just, you know, it doesn't belong in this one. It just doesn't. So we have a lot of work to do. I need to stop procrastinating. It is already 2.30. I'll take you over to the computer and I'll show you guys what I'm working on. These balloons look so sad in the background. I just tripped over like 10 cords getting over here and almost broke a lamp. So. We are on a roll. So I wanted to explain to you guys what I'm working on today. The first thing I need to finish is an order that I got on my website. So if you guys don't know, I have a form on my website under the contact tab. And it's just if you have any project inquiries, if you need help doing a floor plan or just a whole design project in general, whatever you guys need. And um, the latest one that I'm working on is we're converting this really massive garage into a three bath, not three bath, <laughs> into a three bed, two bath, kitchen and living room setup. So I'm helping him lay that out. I need to finish that. And then my other project is I'm Zooming with a client on Saturday and we wanna go over some furniture plans. So I need to draw up on AutoCAD basically some space plan options for furniture. And we also wanna go over some fixtures for the kitchen. So lighting, hardware, plumbing, that sort of thing. I'm gonna to try to be really diligent and fast because it procrastinated forever. It feels really late because it's so dark outside, but it, like I said, it just got stormy. So it's only two o'clock, but it just, it feels like evening already. So I need to get in the zone. <laughs> Normally Shelly and I share it, but I've kind of realized how nice it is to just spread out. So that's what I've done. I've just taken over the whole thing. And then over here, I have all of my papers. This is my other project folder and my little drafting sketching tools. So it's really nice. I mean, honestly, I don't know how people do this without this much space. Like this is just a basic project and look at how much space I need. It's ridiculous. And normally I have my Mac laptop over here where I'm watching like YouTube videos while I do my drafting. So normally I have like three computer screens going. It is absolutely pouring. Look how hard it's raining. That's crazy. Oh my God. I hope Shelly's flight doesn't get delayed. Yeah, he's supposed to take off in like an hour. She's used to crazy weather because we live in Tulsa, but it's so loud. <gasps> you guys hear that? So I am so sorry if you guys can't hear me. It is so, oh my God. And there's like lightning every two seconds. It is so loud outside. I've just printed out the first part of what I'm working on and now I need to do a little sketching with some tracing paper. So I will bring you guys up to speed and then I can have you guys kind of trace with me and brainstorm. Oh my God. 
I'm trying to figure out like a good way to show you guys this and I don't know, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. He sent me over, he was super nice and he sent me over the original plans from the house. So I had measurements and I had some elevations and all that good stuff. So I had that to work with and I asked kind of what he was thinking. So he sent me over this sketch that he did of what he's imagining and you know, one reason why people hire me is because I can put things into scale, measure them, add, you know, dimensions and stuff like that so that you can actually see if it will actually work because right now, you know, he's not working with measurements. He's kind of just sketching stuff. So um, I basically took this and I turned it into a real floor plan. So this is the blank one. So this is the existing. This is more so just for me. I probably won't, I mean, I'll send this to him, but he already has the, the existing uh, floor plan. But this is just for me to work with. So this is what the space looks like. We have two single garage doors here that he wants to turn into sliding doors. So I just put the sliding doors in. And then this side had a really large, I think it was 16 foot garage door, but he just wants to drywall over that. So I just kind of covered that up with a single wall. And then there's posts. There's two posts on either side here with a six inch wall connecting. And this is only about like three feet. So I took that blank plan and I put basically this setup into that drawing. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can kind of see better. The white walls are the existing and then this kind of shaded in color is what we are adding. So this is the existing bathroom here and I drew in a kitchen, you know, with all the basic appliances. We have a range, dishwasher, sink, trash pullout, and then on this wall we have a full height pantry, refrigerator, and washer and dryer. We have a little living space here. It's not huge, but it'll work. This is where the entry is and then the three bedrooms. So he's thinking these two can probably be the same. It could be a smaller bed. This, these are just queens. And then this was gonna be a larger master bedroom with a bathroom. What I always try to do with my clients is I try to give them, there's gonna be thunder in about, yeah, that's a really close one. I always try to draw up what the client is imagining first because I don't want to do them a disservice and just immediately start throwing out ideas. I want to honor their idea first. So that's what I did. I drew it up the way that he's imagining. But then what you can do is you can either put your notes on the drawing or just talk to them in a meeting. But you basically say, you know what, like, I realize that you might want the kitchen like this, but it might actually be better if we do it like this. You know, it's kind of our job. Like we have the vision, we, we know how spaces should be laid out and we might think of something that they might not already have thought of. So I try to honor that. I try to honor what he wanted in the beginning, but then I can do another plan where I show an alternative layout. What I've also done on this plan was I added notes for things that I drew up a little bit differently than he had originally thought. So here's an example of how I drew up things just a tiny bit different than him, just because of maybe safety or egress or just, um, you know, for the sake of dimensions. So he had drawn up the sink and then a range um, here next to this peninsula with seating. So in my plan, I actually reversed the two and I put the range here with the hood and then the sink here because I just thought having a range this close to a seating area might be a little bit dangerous. So I flipped the two. And I never want a client to look at a plan and think that I didn't do what they wanted, you know, I wasn't listening or I didn't pay attention. So what I did, which I thought was pretty helpful, I added notes to the same plan, just explaining why I might have drawn things a tiny bit different than he was expecting in the first place. And I think it also just, you know, gives them what they're paying for. Like I'm actually explaining my process and explaining my thinking rather than just assuming that they'll understand. I got notes all over the place. We got it at the bottom here as well. I asked him if he wanted an alternative plan, you know, if I could think of something and he said, yeah, go ahead. So 
So that's why I printed out just a plain blank one. Where's my blank one? Over here. And this is what I'm gonna use the tracing paper to sketch on top of, just so I don't have to keep printing out, you know, copies of this. I'll kind of show you guys the process of sketching and using tracing paper. So I actually normally like to buy the pads of paper because they're already pre-cut, but this is way more cost effective because you're getting so much tracing paper. So I bought this recently and the way it works is you can kind of roll it over and get the size that you need. And then to rip it, a lot of designers use a straight edge like their scale or something along it. See? That was pretty good rip. And I've said this before, tracing paper is different than vellum. Vellum is like nice quality tracing paper that's not as translucent. Tracing paper is literally, um, I'm not gonna say dirt cheap because you still have to pay for it, but you can go through a lot more of it and not be as fragile. So the things we wanna fit in this space is definitely not a cat. What are you doing? Levi. <laughs> Uh, I swear my cats make me procrastinate more than anything. Okay, really? You're gonna have to move, boo boo. This cat is not being helpful in any way, but he's so cute. I need that. I need that. No. I need that. <laughs> why? Oh, <laughs> I was just gonna say, why do cats like to knock stuff off? My next step is putting this into CAD and seeing if it's actually feasible. It's always very disappointing when it's not, but you know, I could like sit here sketching with my scale, but eh, let's see. So the island that I drew is about like a nine foot island, which we don't have to do, we could do an eight foot. Yeah, so I could do an eight foot island. I mean, I even drew things a little bit bigger. So yeah, we could definitely fit that island there. This couch is still a good, size we have about like six feet by that's six by eight if we got rid of the tables might be able to expand it i mean this table is about three by five. Oh my god i drew that like perfectly to scale because i'd probably put a three by five <laughs> table there yeah you get lucky sometimes and i was thinking this is about three feet oh my god i got about three yeah that's literally about three foot storage closet See, I don't need a scale. No, now I'm getting cocky. Is this about four feet? Oh my God, it's exactly four feet. 
<laughs> I am good. No, honestly, like when because I just drew this, I kind of knew like the scale of things, but that is pretty impressive. There's time. I think I'll leave B-Day though, that's cute. <laughs> Shelly up in 35 minutes and that's normally when I leave but I just checked traffic and it is an hour drive so I'm gonna be late to pick him up he's gonna kill me and it's gonna take two hours of driving now to get there and back so that's that's exciting so we're gonna leave and we will keep working when we get back look who's vlogging no it's not focused picked him up yep it is terrible on the road right now what, why was there so much traffic? I think because of the storm and it's also rush hour and there was like three accidents. The timing worked out really nicely though because we got stuck, got stuck on the tarmac. Yeah, but... I mean, you didn't have to wait. No, I know, but just flying at rush hour is not ideal, but that's okay. <laughs> you don't have control over that. Yeah. So I really need food, so Shelly just pulled out his snack bag and he just pulled out wet underwear from the snack bag. There was no, I didn't have any other plastic bag and so we had to do a pool recovery session this morning and I was like, oh, I didn't have a swimsuit because I packed so light so I just swam in my, my um, underwear and then I, got, I don't have a plastic bag, it was all wet so I was like, I'll just throw it in my snack bag because so all my snacks have, have wrappers. So now all the snacks have been with your wet underwear. Yeah, but it's, it's just pool water. Perfect. So do you want the granola bar? Back from the airport. Now we're having tacos again because we have a lot of leftovers. He's having six. I'm having two. Oh, they're having kibble. Perfect timing. What are you gonna do tonight? What day is it? Today's a Thursday. Thursday? What are you gonna do tonight? Mm. Watch another documentary without me? Probably. He likes to do that. He likes to watch the things that I wanna watch when he's gone without me. You wanna watch everything. So just don't to, watch anything. I want to sit on the airplane like this. <laughs> You're supposed to read. You just bought new books. Yeah, but I wanted to watch documentaries. Mm. Oh my god, that was not a fight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Back to work now. We just finished eating and um, showing each other TikToks. It's the important thing. It's already kind of late in the evening, but I haven't really gotten much done. So I'm going to try to just finish this. Uh, floor plan. This is the option two floor plan and then I think I'll be in a good spot to stop and then I'm just gonna work on my other project tomorrow because my deadline for that is Monday, so You guys can see on my screen. I know you're kind of far away, but I've got the layout of the island here and then these are the wall cabinets in the kitchen So now I'm just gonna finish laying out the living room and then I will do the bedroom
working. It's like 8.30 right now. Shelly is asleep, so I can't talk out in the living room. But um, yeah, I finished all the drawings. I can show you guys that tomorrow. It turned out um, pretty much how I sketched it out on the tracing paper, except I had to do like a different situation with the dining table just to make it fit. But yeah, everything else looks pretty good and I'm ready to just take the makeup off, maybe have a gluten-free cookie that I baked yesterday and just relax. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Here is option two completely finished. So this is without notes. This is just the drawing with dimensions. And as you can see, we have the kitchen island that I put this direction facing out the window and then just like on option one, I added notes. So I just, all the red is just kind of explaining my thought process. 